Thank you again for coming today. This is a precious sight. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die. I tell you the truth, whoever hears my word and believes on him that sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death unto life. I tell you the truth, the time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. Do not be amazed at this, for the time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good will rise to life. Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He springs up like a flower and withers away. Like a fleeting shadow he does not endure. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. Inasmuch as it has pleased the Lord God Almighty in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased Edith Welty, we therefore commit her body to the ground and the spirit to God who gave it, waiting for the resurrection and the life to come. Four precious children are seated here and they have each a flower and when I call they're going to present one of those flowers on the casket of their dear mom. The first one is for Grace. For the Bible says, By grace are ye saved, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. The second one is for Faith. Faith that God's promises are true, and through the death of His dear Son, there is no death to those who die trusting in Him. And one is for hope. Hope that someday we shall be reunited with our loved ones in the blessed tomorrow. And one is for love. Love that even death cannot sever, but is still ours, and will be ours, until we meet around God's throne, where we shall know as we are known. It is in this grace, it is in this faith, that we live, and we lay away our loved ones, awaiting the resurrection morning. Randall Rohr wrote a little article that I think is very important, and that is this. He said, Time will come when my life will cease, but when it comes, I'd ask you to remember these things. Bury my body, but don't bury my beliefs. Bury my heart, but don't bury my love. Bury my eyes, but not my vision. Bury my feet, but not the path of my life. Bury my hands, but don't bury my diligent efforts. Bury my shoulders, but not the concerns I carried. Bury my voice, but not my message. Bury my mind, but don't bury my dreams. Bury me, but don't bury my life. If you must bury something, let it be my faults and my weaknesses, but let my life continue on in you. Let us pray. Father, as we come to the close of this service, we recognize that this life that was lived, we only have the body here, the Spirit has gone to be with you. And how grateful we are for her testimony and for her life and the way she lived. I pray for every member of this family. I pray, O oh God, that you'll take them by the hand and lead them Yes. on through life with victory in Jesus mm -hmm. serving you letting their light shine for you 
and may the legacy that the mother and the grandmother has left to the family, may they follow in her steps and someday be surrounding the throne of glory, rejoicing together for all eternity. For this we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.